Yeah, come on in. That's what? <laughs> My God. Tip. Must have been. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies and gents, this is day three of the Beginner to Ninja series. This is Glenn, once again, with Charlie, aka CT One Honey. One Honey. <laughs> today, <laughs> today we just were talking. Today, I just feel so. I don't know what it is, man, but I just feel so stiff today. I'm not really feeling the session. Um, we just spent the last 20 minutes trying to like psych ourselves up and get warmed up. I brought this rope with no handles by accident. So this is what I'm using today. <laughs> gonna get into it now day three we said we do double unders the time now is exactly I can get this right this time two o'clock so we're gonna finish up at 2 30 see you on the other side today the time now is 2 30 and this so analysis with this guy pb of let me get this camera set up right pb of 10 dubs i think that was which is solid so today's session was a bit of a mad one we started off a bit slow not really feeling it and then we had a really good session of work we started off with a little recap of last week, just doing a few crossovers. And then we got into some drills that are more specific to double unders, pushing our forwards and backwards with our jumps. And then we did some other double under specific drills, but in the middle of our session, we had a dog called Milo come in, and I swear, you've got to take my word for it, <laughs> because my camera stopped recording. So a dog called Milo came in, we were playing with him for about five minutes, it was really cool. I go over to the camera to check if the camera has got it, because I want to watch it back, and the camera had stopped. I don't think it is a memory issue, but some, for some reason, the phone just went off. Seven minutes of footage. See, so check the cameras. You gotta check the cameras every two minutes just to see that things are running. Mm. So, um, there was a lot of our training today that didn't get caught, but the best parts did get caught, especially that PB that you just saw at the end. Right. Let me give them. Let me see if I can give them something. I know I can do it, but I'm just so tired. You had some, you had a good five or six in there yeah. that we'll use. So it's fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my head. That's what? <sighs> my God. What was that? Tip? 
must have been. <laughs> and all the progression steps with the double unders. So we did a lot of a lot of stuff that can help a lot of people out with their double unders if they're just getting into it. We had a sticking point midway through the session where we weren't quite landing more than two double unders. So what we did was we switched to a lighter rope, which was the RX Hyper Rope, which is just here. RX Hyper Rope, very thin metal cable with the swivel bearing. We changed from the regular PVC type rope to that. And that's something I'll do in my training a lot. Um, if I'm trying to land techniques that require faster rope speed, you switch to a faster rope. This is probably one of my favorite things to do that helps me out with training is switch to a fast rope and switch to a heavier rope then keep switching because you have to adapt to the different circumstances so that helped him out a lot he was able to get his pb of 10 which is dope on the last session nancy morales i believe her name is sorry if i pronounce that wrong who's part of the community who's been training for quite some time had a really cool suggestion which was to hear more of charlie's thoughts on training and how he feels about the whole thing so I'm pretty much just gonna hand over to you now and just like maybe talk about um, what you like what you like most about the training you've done so so far what you hate about the training you've done so far what you want to get to okay. just, yeah, and who asked this Nancy Morales yeah, yeah. okay um, I think a lot of people probably find that helpful as well yeah uh, what I what I definitely like most about the training is um, I feel like um, with the time given, especially, it all, I think it all starts off with the amount of time you're given to, to learn. It's not too long and it's not too short to the point where you're trying to cram everything in and it's not too long to the point where it gets like strenuous. Yeah. Um, so I would definitely advise anyone who's trying to learn um, the foundations, just give yourself, whether it's half an hour a week, um, half an hour a day if you like. Um, it was, it's literally all down to you. And in regards to... Um, Which, what, what techniques have you liked the most, learning the most so far? Um, pro probably, what tech? There's, there's techniques that I, feel I found easier to do. Um, I feel like the ones that I like the most are the ones that I found hardest to do, so like the crossovers. So, so more satisfying. Yeah, yeah, they're more satisfying. The, the, the ones that I found quite easy to pick up on are the side swings. Found okay. the side swings easier to pick up on. Um, I, I, I probably I probably found the um, the crossovers to be harder than the double unders, um, yeah. because I think I did more more double unders than I have done crossovers in total. Yeah. I've done about eight crossovers in a row. Um, but yeah, so in regards to that, um, my thoughts on it are again because because my brother my brother breaks it he breaks it down like very well from the points where he tells me to just drop the rope take it out of my hands and focus on um different aspects of what you have to do to perform a, a skill so if you're doing a double under focusing on the jump focusing on the rope rotation um focusing on at what point you jump to get the double under so not jumping too late not jumping too early when it came to the crossovers focusing on yeah, focusing on crossing the rope, um, then focusing on your jump, then focusing on your, your um, torso position. You shouldn't lean back, should, um, if anything, lean a bit forward just so that you can get your body in the certain um, whatever, like shape so that it can, it can work. Um, in regards to, again, with the side swings to, to entry of your single unders, um, just timing it, swinging it from one hand, opening up. It's all basic things that are just broken down and they all come together. So it's nothing that's extremely complicated. It's just broken things broken down and doing it all together to perform the skill. So what would you say, so going forward, what do you, what are your thoughts about training going forward? Like what, what are you, have you got like, is there anything so far that you really want to smash going forward? Have you got any targets that you want to smash or is there something that we haven't done that you want to get into? Have you got any thoughts on that at all? Uh, in, in regards to, I'm, I'm more focused on, on getting my, my, and this has always been, been me when it comes to just working out in general, making it as clean as possible. Um, 
I, I don't I want to make sure I can do the cleanest sets of, of double unders or the cleanest sets of crossovers. Mm. Um as so I would I'd rather um do five clean um crossovers than ten like kind of like yeah, poor yeah and it's just like poor technique. Um so you that's just want that pristine techers. Yeah, it has to be has to be clean. Yeah. That's 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 what I'm trying to do. So that sort of thing is just gonna be down to the reps. Yeah, yeah and control familiar. and control of the rope as well. Mm. So, so slow, slowing it down is what's really gonna help me um, when it comes. Because you said slowing down the rope shows control of the rope. Yeah. So maybe um, doing the slowest double under possible yeah. um, would actually help. Um, would help me to get the the timing as well because it slows everything down. But um, yeah, that's what I would I would um, definitely be doing a, um, a lot more. Right. And we still got one more one more episode, right? Yeah, so next week I think we'll carry on a little bit more with the double unders and I don't, I don't even know what is there anything you want us you yeah, you, you could you could even ask them to, to put in requests of things that because literally in, when it comes to techniques, um, everything that we've done in the episode so far is all I know. So if you guys put in a like teach him how to do I don't know a, a, a backwards, even though it's common like, backwards, backwards skipping. So if you put in your put it in the comments just saying um, teach teach him how to do this, and then that could be the episodes after. Yeah. So um, right. I'm gonna teach That's him how to shot. do that. Yeah. So just drop in the comments if there's anything you want us to look into in the next one um, and I guess by by next week we would have seen any comments yeah and, um, we can you know factor it into the session if we haven't got something mm. properly planned out cool nice all right so that was really cool oh, the ropes. I think, yeah, yeah yeah I think your bags there um, I think that's it I think we're pretty much done now so thank you once again for tuning in this session wasn't as cl- wasn't as clean and as smooth as the other ones. I can't believe we didn't get the dog on video, but that was at, at least tw- twenty minutes. That was funny as f- like. Anyway, thanks you, thank thank you once again for tuning in, taking time out of your day. I hope this was beneficial for you. I hope some of the tips in this video could be useful for you. Um, if you're not subscribed remember to do so hit that button hit the notification bell and we'll be seeing you in the next and we will be seeing you in the next one thanks once again from me and charlie all the best for your training and stay raging